Hello children. Welcome to 9th Chemistry Online Classes. Chapter 3 Atoms and Molecules So in this lesson, we studied what is an atom and how can we find the mass of an atom by using a standard atom like carbon-12 isotope. And we studied molecules. So what is a molecule? Molecule is a group of atoms that are chemically combined with each other. Example, hydrogen molecule, water molecule, carbon dioxide molecule, etc. And we studied molecules of elements. So molecules of elements, they, they are like uh, monatomic, like helium, diatomic, hydrogen molecule, triatomic, ozone, uh, tetraatomic, like uh, phosphorus, P4, and uh, polyatomic, S4, and uh, HNO3, like that many uh, atoms chemically combined. Molecules of elements. And today, we are going to study about the continuation of molecules of element, that is molecule of compounds. Let us see. Molecules of compounds. Molecules of compounds constitute, constitute atoms of different elements that combine together in a fixed proportion. For example, water comprises of two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So here you can see that in the water molecule, two hydrogen atom and one molecule of, sorry, one atom of oxygen. Okay, one atom of oxygen, uh, it is combined with two hydrogen atoms. So that is the one molecule of water, that is H2O, two hydrogen and one oxygen. So that is a compound. It is a compound. It is not one element. This is uh, the mixture of many elements. Okay, so that is called compound. And next one is ammonia, that is NH3, NH3, one nitrogen atom and one nitrogen atom is attached with three hydrogen atoms. So here you can see the green color that is uh, hydrogen atom. So nitrogen atom attached with three uh, hydrogen atom, that is ammonia, NH3. And uh, next one is carbon dioxide, CO2, so one carbon that is attached with two oxygen atom, CO2. And this is hydrochloric acid. Here, one hydrogen, one chlorine. So what is that atomicity two? Because here, one hydrogen, here, one chlorine. So that is the uh, atomicity is two. And what about here? Atomicity is what in carbon dioxide? One carbon and two oxygen. So atomicity is three. Here is also atomicity 3 and here also atomicity 3. Now you see uh, this part that is nitric acid. The formula of nitric acid is HNO3. HNO3. Okay. So here you can see this is the hydrogen. This is the hydrogen atom and uh, here this is nitrogen atom and three oxygen atoms for the children so that is nitric acid hno3 so this is the molecule of one molecule of nitric acid so one molecule of nitric acid contain one hydrogen atom one nitrogen atom and three oxygen atom so this is the molecule of nitric acid and this is sulfuric acid sulfuric acid the formula is H2 S O 4 H2 SO4 so two hydrogen atoms are there so here you can see these two hydrogen atom two hydrogen atom and this is the sulfur this is the sulfur and four oxygen atoms for children so that is one molecule of sulfuric acid this is the one molecule of sulfuric acid, H2SO4. 
So that is molecules of compounds. And now you see what is the atomicity of sulfuric acid. We just uh, see the number, number of the sulfuric acid. How many atoms are present in one molecule of sulfuric acid? We just see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So atomicity of sulfuric acid is 7. Got it? Ions. Compounds contain metals as well as non-metals. So in that last chapter, second chapter, we studied that elements are classified as metals, non-metals and metalloids. And do you remember that periodic table? In that table, one side metals, one side non-metals and the zigzag uh, that is called no, metalloids. Metalloids means it shows the properties of both metals and non-metals. So these metals and non-metals, not metalloids, metals and non-metals, uh, they uh, form some charge. They have some charge. So that charged species is known as ions. Example, sodium. Sodium is a metal. And for getting the stability, it has positive charge. So that everything you will study uh, later. So this positive charge, so that get a charge. So that metal get charged, so we can call it as an ion. That is an ion. And uh, some uh, uh, atoms or some elements, like non-metals, uh, example chlorine. Chlorine is a non-metal. So uh, for getting the stability, uh, it uh, possesses a negative charge. So uh, it getting a charge, so it is called ion. So sodium chloride, NaCl, so Na plus and Cl minus. Thus, ion is a particle that has a positive or negative charge. So you just see metals as well as non-metals. These only have this uh, charge. Okay, not only uh, metalloids not have the charge. So these metals or non-metals, uh, they get the charge. We can call it as ion. See, a positively charged ion is called cation. Positively charged ion like sodium. Okay, Na plus. So here you can see the picture. Uh, this atom getting positive charge. So it is called cation. And uh, this atom, negatively charged ion, and it is called anion. Okay, negatively charged, like chlorine, Cl minus. They can be a single charged atom, single charged atom like sodium, Na plus or Cl minus. That is a single charged atom, charged atom in an ion, or they may be a group of charged atoms, sometimes group of atoms that have a net charge on the compound. When a group of atoms carries a charge in a compound, it is called a polyatomic ion. Okay. So example, NH4 plus. So here you can see uh, two atoms. One atom is nitrogen and other atom is hydrogen. Four hydrogen atoms. So this is a compound. And that full compound is getting a charge. But in the case of uh, a single charged atom means Na plus. Na means only one uh, atom and it has a charge. So that is a single charged atom and this is polyatomic ion. This That means a, a compound get a full charge. This full compound get positive charge. And other example SO4 2 minus. So here sulfur uh, atom is there. 4 oxygen atom is there. So that is a uh, SO4 2 minus. So this is the ammonium ion. NH4 plus and this is the sulfate ion that we will study later in next uh, class we will study about that one and uh, now we just uh, see today we learned what uh, molecules of compounds and uh, these ions okay children so all of you will read that textbook very well and uh, okay I will give some questions also okay so thank you all the best